Another day, another dollar. Hell, another day, another... Another day, another dollar. Well, another day, another project. Here at Auto Auction Rebuild. So you can see we got the uh, yeah, we got the Cadillac vine, as you guys have already seen that. And uh, we got the Lincoln. The stinking Lincoln right back there. Let's go, let's go have a look at this one. So I just got a battery for it. Um, man, this car. <sighs> you know what I hate about Copart? What I hate about Copart is I, I've, I've found so many really good cars that I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> like, I really, really don't want to get rid of some of these cars. This one, <clears throat> I have no doubt this thing is going to start. And I'm going to show you what I think happened. Uh, uh, under the hood here. In fact, it's not even what I think happened. It's what I'm pretty sure I know happened. So I had uh, some people on Instagram. Look, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't see this stuff firsthand. Like I post on Instagram sometimes a few days before you'll ever see anything uh, about the project on YouTube. So go follow me on Instagram. I'll have a link in the description. Hell, I'll even put a link in the comment section for you. So initially I thought something with the horn burned because the horn wires are the only wires that are melted. I thought it must have been something like that, but then uh, I went back to Copart to look at this one more time to really be sure this was something I wanted to put a bid on. And I noticed this. These are deep, very deep wire marks. And there's two of them. Kind of like a hot and a negative. And I got to look it around a little more. It's obvious the fire originated here, right? Definitely originated here. And I looked up at the hood, and I see a burn mark on the hood right here. So that paints a pretty obvious picture. The car caught on fire because of, most likely, the battery that was here was being charged or jump-started, boosted, whatever. Somebody had cables. Either the battery, my guess would be, is that the battery was sitting here, or there was a battery sitting here at some point. Or the battery charger, it's hard to say, or the booster pack, whatever it was. Whatever it was, you had the cables to it running this way, and they went over the fender. My guess is these this hood can be lowered very easily. I don't know if you can see this, but like it'll it'll the shocks on the hood are not very strong. Now, how many of you have had a good gust of wind come by and drop the hood on your head before? It's happened to me. My bet is we had the positive clip, the alligator clip, somewhere right here. This fits perfectly with this. The hood probably came down unexpectedly from a gust of wind. It hit the battery and proceeded to do what it does. I mean, this is what happens when you take a battery that's containing six to 800 cold cranking amps, right? And you short positive to ground you get fire see this is not a car that's ever had a subwoofer in it all right there's never been a box with some 15s there's never been an amp in this the windows aren't even tinted now this car is oem this car has a a nice little <laughs> cloth over the dashboard this is an old person's car look we got tissue let's see we got a more no those are wax paper we got an umbrella in the door <laughs> all right an umbrella no this is not a this is <laughs> this is not a car that was uh being uh pimped out this is just an old grandma car grocery look cigarette has never been smoked in this thing uh, look at this <laughs> There's like a hearing aid battery in there. So I have no doubt this is going to run. Look at this right here. I didn't even see that before. Five, six of 18, 107,000 miles is when the oil should have been changed. Now, I was smart and I ran a Carfax on this before we got it. By the way, it leaks nothing. The underneath is dry as a bone. Tires all match. They've all got great tread. So I ran a Carfax on this before I decided to bid on it. 
And what I found is that this thing was last recorded at having 104,000 miles on it at the uh, dealership in Altus. So it has had, this is another one of those cars, man. I've been finding quite a few of them. This has had dealer service its whole life. Um, the transmission has been serviced regularly. So is the engine, the coolant, the oil, the filter, everything. This thing has been meticulously maintained by the dealership. So now we went out and picked up a battery from Walmart. $49.99, guys. $49.99 for a battery. You can't beat that. So we got a battery. Um, let's do the unthinkable. Let's just plug it in and see if it runs. I mean, that's what you're waiting for anyway, right? All right. will fit it in properly later okay this is hard to do one-handed people there we go that's <laughs> that's good enough all right we don't have any no sparking no arcing nothing like that Let's see if the key yeah 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 oh man i'm telling you not even a blown fuse yet look like i figured there'd at least be uh maybe the battery just wasn't connected to the car otherwise we would have like main fuses blown maybe the battery was not even connected to the car i told you i didn't think this fire <laughs> yep hold on i turn this off there we go I don't think this fire was actually related to the car at all. It was an external source. Should we do it? I'm, I'm nervous. <sighs> what is that? Oh, air, the air ride. Okay, so the air ride feels like it's working. The car is moving up. Should we do it? Should we? Should we? Let's do it. Hot damn. Hot damn. <laughs> 104,000 miles, ladies and gentlemen. 104,439 miles. She fired right up. She fired right up. Holy shit. Oh, you want to talk about a win, man. Oh, this was a steal. This was a steal. Folks, we walked out of Copart paying $945 for this car. $945. It's an O2 Lincoln Continental. No, sorry. O2 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. This is new. This wasn't there. Oh, I got bumped into something. Yeah. That wasn't there. There's a scratch going down it. Oh well. Oh well, the rest of the car is absolutely gorgeous. Um so we can't do much with it because we can't leave it running long. We definitely can't leave it running long. Well, even though that's melted, it still has some coolant in it. Let's uh let's do something really unthinkable. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> You want to go for a drive? Do you want to go for a drive? Let's go for a drive. <laughs> we just got to do it quick. It's got coolant in it, but, uh, you know, regardless, I'm not trying to blow this up. I, I just, I got to know. I got to know. Does the transmission and everything work on this thing? Let's find out. Oh, shut up about your seatbelt. Oh, shifts like a dream. Shifts like a dream. Smooth as butter. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
All right, so there's a successful test drive. And I turn the heat on, and the heat works. I don't want to turn the air conditioner on because the uh, uh, blower motor is frozen from being melted, but I figured we'd check the headlights too, right? Look, the headlights work. Everything is working. So now I guess we need to move on to uh, what we need to get from the junkyard, right? Let's go ahead and shut her down. This is running good. That's impressive. That's impressive. So the goal here is to make it look like this thing was never on fire, right? So here's what we're going to need. This grill is charred and it's melted out of shape a little bit. So we're going to need we're going to need a grill. This light, we're not going to be able to fix that. We need a headlight. We need a grill. There's this plastic shield. Should just you don't even need tools for this, I don't think. I think it just turns or it's supposed to yeah yeah there we go this literally just pops off like that so we need one of these we may need a hood latch it looks like the cable is good but it looks like the latch itself got a uh, looks like it got a little bit tore up here so I think we're gonna need to replace this hood latch we're gonna need the uh, cooling fan the whole cooling fan assembly here is done you can see the coolant down there in the reservoir. It's got coolant. <laughs> um, gonna need a coolant bottle. We'll see if we can get the uh, rubber insert for this mount. Replace that. It looks like all the hoses, the radiator seems to be all right. We need to get that hose too. We gotta do a lot of, a lot of cleaning. See, stuff like that, like that's gotta, that's all gotta go. Um, and it looks like we may need to replace this header panel. It's fiberglass, so we might have to uh, go get that replaced too. There may be some plastics down here that we're just not seeing. It's a crispy critter. Just gonna have to. We're gonna have to dig in a little deeper and figure it out and uh, put her back together. What a deal, man! What a deal! All right, so we're making a little bit of progress. Um, we're going to take this whole header panel off. Basically what we need is the entire header panel, which includes the grill. So we shouldn't even have to disassemble the grill. I think it'll come off with it. We see the whole header panel. A piece goes all this. This fiberglass piece that runs all the way across the front of the car. Um, I was wondering if we had any wiring damage. Because as you can see, this connector here is melted. And I was really concerned about the condition of the wires under it. But uh, the wires are actually still in good shape. It's the insulation around them. Uh, that covers him, protects him, and actually melted. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to need a new horn assembly, new wires for the horn, new hood latch, new header panel, new headlight for this side, new grill. Um, I'm going to take a few. I'm going to clip some of their connectors. This one melted, so this has to be replaced. So we're going to have to cut and uh, solder and uh, make sure we put some heat shrink or something over these. But we'll, uh, we'll make sure this wiring is tidied up when we get this uh, header panel off. We'll clean it up, wrap it all real tightly in electrical tape. Um, I guess next, let's pull this header panel off. It looks like it's only held on by a one, two, three. These look like eight mils. Um, looks like we got, there's a bracket here. It's also held on this side, so two, so three eighths, then another two eighths on this side. And I really don't see anywhere else that it mounts to the car other than the same thing here, one, two, three, then four, five. So I guess let's uh, let's see if we can get this header panel off. I know the bumper goes into it. I'm hoping that when we unbolt the header panel, we can tilt it up and pull it out without having to actually disassemble the bumper. But we may have to. Let's just see how that goes. All right. So Tim finally woke up. Good morning, Tim. Morning. Hell, it's only noon. Well, Tim came out here and uh, he got the last bolt off for me. So. Here is the header panel. Let's drop it and see it shatter. It didn't shatter. No. Okay, well, there's the header panel. Now we can get a better look at what we got going on under here. We did not have to take the bumper off. Just like I said, we tilted it up and it came right off. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace this hood latch. I think it's bad, even though the cable is fine. Uh, there's so much gunk in the hood latch, I don't think it's going to be any good. Replace the horn. Obviously, the 
the wiring for the horn. I already cut it here where the wires are still good. Um, replace the horn. We've got to replace this wiring harness over here. It's in a, it's in kind of crispy, crispy shape. So we got to get that taken care of. But this, this doesn't look that bad. This really doesn't look that bad. We got to clean a lot of this up. Uh, the wires look a little crusty, but the insulation is fine. It's just all that stuff that was wrapped around it um, that melted onto it. The wires themselves are fine. You can bend them. They don't crack or anything like that. So uh, it's just a matter of taking a couple more things off and uh, going to the junkyard, grabbing some parts, putting it back together. All right, so I got a hands full of fiberglass. Hands are real nice and itchy now, thanks to that header panel. Uh, here's all the parts. There's the coolant reservoir. There's the cooling fan and the fan shroud. There's the plastic cover that goes over the top of the header panel. There's the header panel. There's the grill. There's the horn. And here's what she looks like. Not too bad. This is a pretty easy job. Knock this out. Uh, got all the parts off that need to be replaced in, well, I'd say, about an hour. About an hour. Not too bad. Um, batteries obviously disconnected for safety um, so oh yeah and we took the mount off for the radiator right there the hood latch I think is gonna be all right um, what we need to do is we need to clean all this mess up where the fire was put some etching primer or something over it to help make sure none of this stuff rusts uh, we're gonna have to clip a new connector because this one is fried we're going to splice a new connector in there clean all these wires up wrap them up really good um, then put the uh, put the parts back on. I can do without you singing in the background. Oh, the camera's on. All right, so Jegs just sent me an email. Uh, one of the representatives over there said, hey, we're doing something that we rarely ever do, and we wanted to get this out to you and your subscribers ASAP. They're doing free shipping site-wide with no minimums. Only a couple exceptions, and that is... Uh, freight items, obviously, you can't get freight shipped for free, the oversized packages, and you can't get, like, expedited shipping for free. But otherwise, site-wide, no minimum, free shipping. Jump over there, get that early shopping done now, get it out of the way while you can get that shipping for free. And listen, ladies, ladies, even if your man does not have a performance car or a rat rod, a resto rod, whatever, resto rod, resto mod, oh my god, I need to go to bed. Even if he doesn't have a car yet, buy him a carburetor. Just trust me, they're cheap. They're not that expensive. Get a carburetor. Get you a little Edelbrock, all right? Carburetor. Get you an Edelbrock Pro or a Performer RPM or an Air Gap, right? Your man can take that carburetor, stick it on a manifold, and set it on his desk. You can put it on your fireplace mantle. Uh, you could put it on your bookshelf. It just looks good, and he can use that later on down the road when he decides to get a performance car, sports car whatever, classic car, go over to Jags, check them out, cash in on that free ch shipping right now, and you know what? It helps support the channel, so you can't go wrong. So even if you don't need a part, go buy a part anyway. Help help me out. Help me out get my next flip car, all right? Thanks to Jags. Thanks to you guys for watching. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. We got a, an unveiling. We got a reveal done today and uh, we tore it apart so now it's time to put it together so what we're going to do tomorrow i think tomorrow maybe tomorrow the day after uh stay tuned because we're going to go out to the junkyard we're going to source the parts pull another car apart bring the parts home and if there's time in the video uh we'll try putting this thing back together and we'll see what she looks like how she runs and drives get out on the highway make sure it's good to go because today whenever you'll see this video but today is actually thursday we need this down to weird beard auto sales by friday so we got work to do, so we're going to get out of here and uh, start recording the next episode of this car for you guys. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like the content. If you don't, then give it a thumbs up anyway. I appreciate you guys being here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Click, uh, click that bell icon to get notified when new videos are up. And uh, I guess stay safe out there. We will catch you very soon. we got plenty of work to do in the next one.